And good evening. We've got new details to share with you tonight about the final moments before IMPD officer Brianne Leith was killed in the line of duty yesterday. Police have now confirmed with us that Officer Leith was, in fact, responding to a domestic disturbance involving a boyfriend and girlfriend on the east side of Indianapolis near 465 and I-70. Tonight, we've learned that Leith was with three other officers when they approached the apartment's front door and the suspect inside started shooting. Now, the other officers backed out of the entrance hallway but could not bring Leith with them. Then a sergeant set up a rescue team pulling Officer Leith from the scene and rushing her to the hospital where she died yesterday. Police have now arrested this man, 27-year-old Elias Dorsey, for murder and attempted murder. The death of this young, ambitious police officer is a huge loss for the police department, our community, and, of course, her loved ones. Tonight, Alan Carter shares one of the many ways her friends are now honoring her memory by simply remembering how she lived. From everyone who knew her. With her, it was just something different. There have been only good things to say. I want her to remember her as a loving, caring friend. About Officer Brianne Leith. She was special by any definition of the word. It's probably what makes this loss so hard. <sighs> Gone too soon. But I just thank God she's resting in peace. I believe she is resting in peace. For Renee Todd, friend isn't a strong enough word to describe how she felt about Leith. Just was felt like a daughter, little sister, we called her Little Leaf. Always wanted to be an officer. They worked together for nearly three years at the Indiana Women's Prison before Leith started at IMPD. Hearing her name on the news Thursday night, Todd's heart dropped. It's just so senseless. We just feel like she was snatched. Was... <sighs> she wants people to know that so much more than an officer was lost, but a wonderful human being. So it's just really hard to know that she is no longer here. Like her live and vibrant dancing, always dancing around and she was young and she knew she was young and she just had a good time. Just a beautiful girl. Just a beautiful girl. And I want to give you a live look now at the tribute to Officer Lee. This is Monument Circle. The lights you see still lit up in blue this evening. But new, you can see this added thin blue line display on the side of the IPL building. And earlier today, we watched the processional for Officer Leith stretching for blocks as her body was taken from the corner to Crown Hill. Plans are now underway for a burial next week. Tonight we're still waiting on the official arrangement, but when we know that Officer Leaf will be getting full honors for her service and sacrifice. Governor Holcomb says he's also making plans to honor Officer Leaf in the days ahead. Today honoring one of their own who was killed in the line of duty. Officer Brianne Leith killed, protecting the community she grew up in. Now the city trying to give her the farewell she deserves. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. And I'm Phil Sanchez. Indianapolis police officers arrested the man accused of killing Officer Brianne Leith. 27-year-old Elias Dorsey faces preliminary charges of murder and attempted murder. Leith was shot and killed while responding to a domestic dispute at an apartment complex on the city's east side. Officers say Leith was shot after officers knocked on the door of an apartment. A next door neighbor says that he heard the gunshots and saw officers scrambling to save her life. First police car pulled in, I said, well, you was pretty quiet here. And I said, what's going on? Then three more came, then two more came. Leith later died at the hospital. Right now, online records do not show an initial court appearance for Dorsey. And this afternoon, we said goodbye to Officer Leith with a police procession through downtown Indianapolis. Yeah, News 8's Jenny Dreisler was along the procession route, and she joins us now live from Crown Hill Cemetery. Jenny. 
Now, Brooke and Phil, we, we brought this coverage to you guys earlier today, and it was somber. It, it was sad. It was the city's way of trying to say goodbye the best way that we could right now because of everything that's going on. But nonetheless, Officer Brianne Leith here tonight at Crown Hill Cemetery's funeral home, and that's where she will remain until funeral arrangements have been made. Now, that procession started today. The farewell procession started at 3.15 this afternoon. It was led by a motorcycle escort, and then and the black hearse or Officer Leith's casket draped in the American flag, followed by hundreds of IMPD squad cars, all making the seven mile long trek from the Marion County Coroner's Office to Crown Hill late this afternoon. The route deliberately through the city, starting along West McCarty to North Illinois Street and then west over onto 38th Street to the funeral home. Every single officer we saw today had a somber look on their face. The procession itself was like nothing we'd ever seen before. This city was silent. Silent today, the absence of people profound as the state still under a stay at home order right now. And the few people that were out stopped everything that they were doing and paid their respects to Officer Brianne Leith, a hero shot and killed running toward danger. It's sad. I don't lost a couple people. I know the feeling. And it's, it's a lot. I know it's a lot to go through for our family out of honor and respect. You got you to gotta give respect to the people that passed by. She protected our country. So I wanted to give my respect back. I give the prayers out to her family and her loved ones, her friends. Now, Wish TV has talked to the Fraternal Order of Police and the department. They say that arrangements are still being worked out with the current stay at home orders. This is expected to be a vastly different funeral. We expect officers from all across the country to attend, but will most likely have to stay in their cars. Live from Crown Hill Cemetery in Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. Thank you very much. And the Indiana National Guard also remembering Officer Leaf tonight. She served from March of 2014 to April of 2017 before being honorably discharged as a specialist. In a statement, her former recruiter, Sergeant Stephen Mann, said Brianne was the perfect example of what it means to be a national, uh, the na in the National Guard. She was a young woman from the start who wanted to give back and protect others. While she wasn't old enough yet to join the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department, she became a military police officer to receive the very best training and when the time came, be ready to answer the call. She was a hero, a beacon in her community, a symbol of change and a source of motivation to do more. Well, the Central Indiana Police Foundation has established a memorial fund for fallen officer Leith. The fund will benefit officer Leith's family, including assisting with funeral and burial arrangements, and to provide a trust for her young son. We've included a link to donate along with this story on wishtv.com.